Sherry Appleby, and this is The Skin on IPOs. Companies have the same option you have with your Instagram account, private or public. Private means you can choose who sees your finances and uh, that throwback picture of you from college spring break, that dress was a bad choice, I just have to say and I'm sorry. Public means people can buy into your company and also double tap that picture of you pretending to laugh. <laughs> Come on, we know it's not real. By staying private, companies get to be their own bosses. By going public, companies get to have more cash money in their actual hands to spend. But where is that money coming from? It's a very good question, and the answer is you, the shareholder, and your investor who uses words like stock option and NASDAQ. So if a company decides to go public, here's how you do it. Step one, are you taking notes? Please, seriously take notes, we'll start again. Step one, a company hires an underwriter, which is a very fancy way of saying that the company hires a big bank to hold its hand through the IPO. It's like so cute and adorable, I just love it. Best friends forever. Step two, the underwriter and the company go on what's called a roadshow to show off the potential IPO to drum up interest with new investors. This is not a Britney Spears and Crossroads kind of road trip. This is the kind of family vacation road trip where your parents make you stop at every boring historic monument that has ever been created on this entire planet. Step three, based on the roadshow and the current market, the underwriter helps decide how much the company's stock should be worth when it goes public and how much each piece of the company should cost. Pay attention, are you paying attention? I don't feel like you're paying attention. Are you paying attention? Good. Step four. The underwriter puts together a final report on the company and files it with the Securities and Exchange Commission, aka the stock market police. <coughs> Pull over, we have insider trading. I'm talking to you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Step five, the final rose. Companies can choose to list their IPO on either the stock market exchange or NASDAQ. And now we finally know what Chris Harrison hosts in the off season. Hi Chris, love you too. Step six, the first day a company goes public, investors get first dibs, meaning that they can buy up a certain amount of stock before the general public is allowed to buy anything. Once a company is officially listed as public, that's when the money starts rolling in. But in exchange for that privilege, it has to follow a specific set of rules. Its bank account has to be disclosed, and the SEC can stop by for surprise visits. It also has to release quarterly reports to shareholders, letting them know how things are going. It's like when you're 13 and you get your first cell phone, but your mom is like constantly checking it. Companies and how their IPOs perform affect the stock market and the economy in general. So unless you are somebody that actually hides your money under your mattress, this matters to you. And you're welcome. Cheers.